the Kinect has a challenge with us. It's, it's incredible because it's very precise in certain ways. In other ways, it's frustratingly imprecise. So it's sort of like augmenting reality in a way we've never been able to augment it before, yet there are just those moments where you're like, I thought I hit the tennis ball, you know, and you're frustrated because you didn't get the point system that you wanted to achieve. And I think that um, some people, sometimes it worked really great and other times that avateering side of the Kinect, maybe there was so much more precision than we'd ever have. And then there was other elements of it that just felt like a little hokey and didn't quite land on people like, hey, I felt like I was more in control when I had these binary little things I hit. And you did in a certain way. Um, but in another way, when you're trying to just make something that's like a reflective reality for people to experience and you're totally embracing like um, analog distortion and like the fact that it, you don't really care if the joints are perfect and you don't really, because all you're trying to do is expose some sort of like behavioral experience to people. Um, and you're not trying to get them to have a point system. There's no, there's no goal other than I've learned something else about myself and I'm continuing to, to see maybe something else inside of this, just the same way that you appear at a painting. Then I think it works much better because you're not, you're not feeling like you just lost at any moment because the, the, the sensor didn't quite land. In other words, like so much of the, the hiding of the sensor's failures within the, like linear game structure was frustrating, I think, for a lot of people because then you're just kind of massaging over a lack of precision. But whereas the other side, the hiding of those failures in my space just makes it more beautiful. I'm just adding more Warshock effect to like what we're making, basically.